home. I'm at the marina doing squats on the pier, I'm trying to activate this labor. 39 weeks. I'm ready for baby to come out. So I'm going to start doing all of these stretches and exercises and calming meditation walks to try to bring on labor. All right, so I'm on my way to my 39 week appointment. I was just venting about all the fucking symptoms I'm having at this point. The baby has decided to like put himself really high and back up in my ribs. <clears throat> and it's not his feet that are hurting me. It's like his body, like a part of his body is back there. Um, it doesn't feel good. I, this is my first thing. Like I had an appendectomy. Basically, that's where you get your appendix removed because they thought that I was having appendicitis. That's where the appendix explodes. But really come to find out it was um, ovarian cyst that were causing a lot of pain for me and they were rupturing and they were the size of a softball. So when I went in for surgery for the appendectomy, um, they were like, your appendix is fine. But I guess it's like a procedure that they just do since they're already in there. Maybe an insurance thing. I don't know. I don't even want to look into the whole, uh-oh, into the whole, cons ah! into the whole conspiracy part of that. I don't know if I can try pots coming apart. Anyways, they just took my appendix. Anyways, they probably sold it. Actually, they don't need the appendix. Somebody might have wanted to eat it. I was watching another um, like labor and delivery nurse channel here on YouTube that was mentioning that even the slightest surgery as an appendectomy can alter the shape of your stomach and how your uterus sits and it can cause different you know scenarios where the baby doesn't position right or the baby has more space to go a certain direction I don't know um, I don't know all about it but I feel that this baby has way more space and that he's up really freaking high compared to my other pregnancies. I keep wondering, like, is that because of the um, space in my stomach has changed, I'm older, or if it's because he's like longer and bigger. And this is my first baby with the guy that I'm with now, hopefully the last guy that I'm with forever. Um, <laughs> different DNA in this little baby. I don't really know what to expect. My kids are usually pretty petite um, and you know, my boyfriend now is taller and has a bigger build than my ex does, so we will see. I've been leaking cholesterol a little bit here and there, not enough to need to wear uh, breast pads or anything like that. Uh, it's just enough to rip my nipples a little bit when I take my bra off at the end of the day. <laughs> Like, ow! <laughs> you know, but I don't notice that it's leaking at all. Uh, sometimes I do get the letdown sensation, but I'll look in there and there's like nothing there, so. And I do need to get breast pads though. That's one of the things that I haven't, I haven't purchased any breast pads. But I'm gonna need those. My milk will come in in a few days. Um, I'm due in six days, I think, five days. Um, yeah, my nose is driving me crazy. I'm so glad that I didn't go into labor last week when I was having the prodrama labor. <laughs> I said it right this time because that would have been horrible. Like who wants to give birth and be that sick and congested and coughing and feeling horrible? You know, I'm so glad that my body held out and now I'm hoping like my daughter has a uh, gymnastics recital on Friday. I don't want to have the baby before that because I'm the one who would take her. I don't want her to miss that. She's worked so hard the past, you know, like six weeks getting ready for this and then to have to miss it because I'm giving birth I would feel kind of guilty and Saturday my son wants to go buy the freaking breads the Jordans shoes not like a loaf of bread um and that's gonna be fucking crazy and that's the only thing he asked for Christmas and his birthday so I'm like little baby you can hold off now so it's kind of crazy where I'm like okay I'm so ready you can come out whenever you want but wait don't you know like don't push it but then again, at my last appointment, I wasn't even dilated at all. She couldn't even, she could barely get her fingertip in there. Um, and nothing has really changed. I feel like he's still up high. I've been trying to do so many different exercises and walks and squatting and just everything to get him to come down. I don't even think that he's dropped yet. I don't even know if she's going to check me at this appointment or not.
In this clip, I was doing the basic Brooke disgusting TMI talk that nobody really wants to hear, but you kind of want to hear it. So you listen, but then you're disgusted after. So I just zoomed through it so we didn't have to hear it. All right. That's why now in this pregnancy, I'm slowing down on the food. Like, I don't even want to eat a lot of food right now because I am not trying to release a massive fucking bowel movement. I was doing that activated labor video the other day. That shit activated my fucking bowel. Started ripping ass using the toilet a lot, <laughs> you know, and like... I'm thankful for that but I was like okay bitch if you're shitting this much like you better get this shit out now because I'm not trying to poop on the table I already told my boyfriend like if I poop on the table like I'm still need you to stay right there don't cover your face don't look disgusted support me okay if you shit on the table I'm leaving the room <laughs> hell no you're not like you will not leave me in the room by myself I don't really know what um is more risky if I end up needing to be induced with this baby. I don't think they would let me go a week. They would let me go a week past, um, you know, seven days past before the induction. And that would put me on my induction date for um, December 24th, Christmas Eve. I don't wanna do that. So hopefully he just comes on his due date, which is my brother's birthday. Okay, anyways, I am talking a lot more than I expected to. I'm about to run into my doctor's office, get this checkup done and go run some errands. Wish me luck. I hope that I'm at least a centimeter dilated this time. At least, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm in here waiting to be checked. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get my membrane stripped. Um, hopefully I've dilated some. super gassy and I'm scared that when she strips my membranes if she can strip my membranes that I'm gonna fart and while she's doing it that would be really embarrassing <laughs> I don't think I can high-five my way out of that kind of shit can I Ugh. God. is this like all the weight gain just swelling like even my lips look all fat and chubby right now sitting in the room for so long that the lights turned off. It's fucking dark in here. I'm scared. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Should start like a ghost hunters or like a ghost adventures episode while I'm in here. Just take the darkness in the hospital to my advantage. Is there anybody else in here with us? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think so. She stripped me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, like one to two centimeters. Baby is low. We think he's facing up though, which is not good. A sunny side up baby is a horrible, painful delivery and back labor um but she wants to induce me like thursday friday or this weekend um she stripped it as best as she could the issue was that um sorry the issue was that my the baby is low so that's awesome like compared to last week he wasn't even engaged or in my pelvis yet he was still floating on hella fluid but he's actually locked in place and that's probably why i'm experiencing so much pubic bone pain now um he's low and my cervix is still high though so she had to like really get in there to try to find it and like when she found it she was like yeah you're like one to two but um it's so soft and squishy i'm sorry that sounds <laughs> i hate saying that um it's probably all the dates and the red, 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 the red raspberry leaf tea that I've been drinking. My cervix is super soft and um, she said it's still kind of thick, but um, she was able to strip it a little bit. I'm already spotting right now, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. At least I know that she was able to get in there and make the cervix go through some sort of irritation and I am having some cramps and a little bit of cervical pain right now which is normal. Um, I don't think it's gonna turn into anything. 
but she wants to induce me tomorrow. I'm due on Tuesday and tomorrow is Thursday. I'm all about like a natural delivery and I don't really, I'm not huge on induction, but when I'm sitting here planning, you can't really plan your labor or your birth or anything like that, you know? Um, there's no fucking planning in that, which makes it kind of hard when I have other kids that I need to care for and my boyfriend has work and there's like a lot of other stuff going on in life like yeah it's a baby and there's there's always going to be time for that but if you can plan it that's one of those it's one of those advantages that we have to where you know exactly when your baby is going to be born and you can actually plan it out so I'm kind of looking at the benefits to that side and I know there's complications there's always going to be complications I don't I know about all that and I am kind of um thinking about all of that you know like when I said that my cervix is high and it's still kind of thick that made me think like shit induction would probably take forever um usually she told me they would use the Foley balloon which is extremely painful I know that but labor is painful but just because the kids go with their dad this weekend and then they would have school on Monday if I were to give birth on Tuesday I don't have somebody who's going to come and babysit my kids at my house and get them to school the next day. You know, um, I don't have that. And I don't have someone who's going to do anything like the next day or while I'm in recovery and then my boyfriend having work, he's going to have to take off of fucking work. You know, I'm just like all scrambled. My mind is completely scrambled right now. It's really crazy. I didn't think about this before getting pregnant, and I know that it just takes time to adjust, but the idea right now with it being hella cold outside and raining and having all the kids and everybody and staying at home to do all of it's just like, whoa, 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 like I need to slow down, I need help. Like I'm going to do it though. There's no other choice. I got to do it. So um shit and then I have I'm going through custody issues right now so I have custody court hearing on Tuesday you can't take kids inside of that this is a lot this is a very I'm gonna go home and clean the fuck out of my house right now